let's run through it one more time. All right. There is a company, E-Tech, that has had their eyes on a device that can be used to view and manipulate the memories in other people's heads. The creator of said device, a Dr. Elizabeth Loftus, destroyed the device and offed herself so that no one would be able to replicate it, though it seems she was unsuccessful. And how do you know that again? <laughs> I don't. But these are the facts. You witnessed somebody get into the car with Loftus just minutes before her car was found split in half down a tree. Right, but that doesn't mean You that... also tell me that you've just completed an advertising focus group within E-Tech's largest branch location. Oh, congratulations, by the way. And you recognize this man as a discussion leader. That's what I remember. I have memories of the entire thing. Which leads me to believe that whoever really got into the car with Dr. Loftus was working with E-Tech to recover the device. They intercepted her before she could kill herself to find the location of the device and retrieve it. Lucky for you, you happened to see the whole thing go down and became the first test subject. How do you plan on proving all of this? The man who manipulated your memories is in a car with the device on his way to us right now. How'd you manage that? I bought out the driver. Well, how long do we have? It depends on how thirsty your discussion leader is. Remember, the sedative will be stronger than what you're used to. Each second in the real world will be multiplied by 20. You're gonna wanna remember this. When we go under, we need to find out what really happened. Are you ready? Do it. Drive smooth. You need to tell us now exactly what happened. I'm sorry, I can't do that. Yes, you can. What is that? It's a memory rehabilitation device. It will allow us to view your memories, among other things. Like I said, we have other ways of receiving what we need to know. No, you can't do this. Oh, can't we? Secure her. No, get off of me! You'll be hearing from my lawyers. By then, it'll be too late. Start the recording. Well, here, I was thinking I was gonna get to treat myself to a light brunch. What's the point if you aren't actually eating it? What's the point of eating food in the first place? For utility or for pleasure? When do you see Loftus get in the car? Why don't you look behind you? What happens next? I keep walking. That's all I know. Good. You're distracted. I can feel you focusing your attention elsewhere. What are you thinking about? He's not supposed to be here, is he? Jason Boudreau. That's right, I read your file. He left. He thought he wasn't good enough for me anymore. Jason, listen to me! I I'm sorry, I didn't mean to- It's okay, Sarah. Can we please talk about this? Listen. I can't be with you anymore. 
to go. But that wasn't true. Can I offer you a little advice? There are some decisions that you're going to make in life that are just going to follow you around forever if you let them. It's best not to ruminate. See you soon. Page me when she's been prepped for release. Yes, sir. Her memory has been cleared of our involvement successfully. I recommend you do the same to prevent a leak. Noted. What's the cover? She thinks she's been participating in an advertisement focus group for the last hour. Thank you for your participation and candor today, Mrs. Um, Cohen. Mrs. Cohen. We've reached some valuable conclusions with you here today. You can expect a full debrief in the mail. <laughs> You're too kind. All I had to do was talk. <laughs> Right this way. Thank you. Thank you. It felt so real. Once they had you hooked up, they could say whatever they wanted to and you'd remember it. And what can we trust if we can't trust our own memories? <sighs> we gotta find the recording. It'll prove that they've manipulated your memories. Otherwise, we got nothing. I mean, I knew that you could live in a memory for as long as you wanted. But... Change them? Let's move. We're gonna have to take her out. This is a chloroform rag. I said I was okay with hurting the evil E-Tech agent, but not an innocent woman. Oh, it won't hurt her, it'll just put her to sleep for a while. Okay, well, what are you gonna do then? I'm gonna play dumb. Excuse me, sir, you need to sign in. All right, my apologies. And I need to see some form of identification. Ah. Uh. I think I left them in my other pants. Oh, no way. I think I found it. Seriously? What, she's not real. <laughs> Miss me already? <laughs> Jesus, Sarah, I said make them unconscious, not dead. Is he alive? Barely. Where's the recording? What recording? Don't make me ask again. Why? What are you gonna do? Hit me? No. I'm gonna hold you here. She'll do the rest. All right, all right, listen. The recording is on a... It's in the media, but it's on a USB. You're gonna take us to it. This is it. You make one wrong move and you'll regret it for the rest of your life. Which, don't worry, won't be too long. Open it. Hey, miss. How's it going? What, you can't remember my name? I need that recording. But that's against protocol. I know it's against protocol, damn it. I'm the one that came up with them. Are you sure you're all right? I'm fine. Where's the recording? You won't get anything off that. Why not? It's encrypted. What's the encryption key? I should know it, but he doesn't remember. 
What's the encryption key? I don't know. You're lying to me, I swear to God. What's going on? The, the tech isn't hooked up. He's just a projection of his subconscious. This isn't real? You can't know if the tech knows. We're screwed. But what if he doesn't know that he knows? What do you mean? I mean, what if he's seen the key before but just can't recall it? Have you ever seen the key before? He has. I sent it to him in a memo. I never read those. Well, for this one you did. You're gonna stop messing with me right now or else you're not gonna wake up. There's another way. Don't. I, I can't let them keep hurting us. What other way? You go under again. Again? The first layer is his conscious memory or what he thinks he knows. The second layer deep is his subconscious, where you can access everything. But I wouldn't recommend it. Why not? It's incredibly unstable. Time and space behave unpredictably. They could be infinite. And we don't know what the long-term effects are. Not even Dr. Loftus knew. Bless her soul. But we don't have another choice. Set it up. It's not gonna stop spinning. Not as long as we're still under. Well, that's the point, isn't it? When he's under, he can't control the tech. We'll be safe to follow him into his subconscious. I don't like this. Look, if we don't do this, we'll be letting these guys get away with not only the murder of an innocent woman, but a device that they will use to their own company's benefit. It'll mean the end of competition and the economy. Listen, I'm gonna find that memo and keep you safe. I promise. Do it. I've seen it, it'll be on one of these shelves. You don't know which one? How long is this going to take? Time doesn't exist here. There's only what is, and what isn't. I didn't think you'd be home this early. What are you doing? I'm just gonna write you a note. Write me a note? I'm sorry, Sarah. Two years of our lives together and you were gonna write me a note? Do you notes? see? Do you see? This is what I was talking about. I, I mean, we could have went and talked this out, but you just had to go and, and ruin it! Do you ever wonder the real reason why I really left you? Because it wasn't because I wasn't good enough for you, or whatever the hell that means. You're not real. <laughs> oh, I'm not real. Oh, I'm not real enough for you, Sarah! I think that deep down, some part of you knows the real reason why I left you. And it's because I didn't love you anymore. I forgive you. Wait, that's... That's not what I was I forgive you for leaving. Well, I don't accept it. Don't you too. Who's that? New boyfriend already? Did you get it? Yes. It's over. You were right. And now we've got proof. The sedative we use will be strong enough to suppress his short-term memory long enough for us to get clear. After that, it'll be too late for him to do anything. We'll have decrypted the video and sent it to every news outlet in the country. It's over. We did it. Pull over here. That's it then. That's it. 
I need to get somewhere safe. Pack up some things from home and uh, get far from here. Call me from this number once you've done so. Thank you. Don't worry about it. Just uh, call me your guardian angel. My apologies for the mess. I'll have someone clean that up after we arrive. No worries. Company cleans the car after every trip. I just must have stayed up too late finishing reports and then the continuous motion of the car. <sighs> Can I tell you something? I've just had the strangest dream. 